Okay, I get asked all the time <clears throat> what I do when I start start a pup. Um, so I just finished a set, and I'll kind of show you what I do. I I've got Rip. You can see Rip here. Quit, Tink. Rip here is four months old um, this weekend, and this is his first out. So I'll kind of show you what I do um, when I set up a, a stand. Of course, I've got Tink with me, and she's knows we're getting up so she's in my face which is always obnoxious but I don't know how many times I've stood up on a stand to see a coyote run off. So of course here's here's where I'm sitting right um, I've got rip on a 20 20 ish foot paracord lead and I just tie that to a brush simple brush um, so that he can't get to me is the main thing because as I'm sure everybody does with their pups I dropped my phone <laughs> but I'm sure what everybody does with their pups is anytime they go see them you know, if they sit down or whatever they're playing with their pup right and that pup gets used to anytime you sit down jumping in your lap and wanting pet and stuff like that it's it's what it's the that's the learned behavior from a pup so I put them on a about a 20 foot lead and depending on what the country I'm in um, that gives me enough play he was only on a I probably staked him I mean he was staked down right over here right here on that brush and where I was sitting is maybe 10 feet away so I gave him about seven feet of lead there, staked him behind me. The the call is is upwind, of course, about 40 yards, 30, 40 yards, and um, that puts rip behind me. So that because I think one of the biggest ways to ruin a, a dog is to shoot over the top of them, because a lot of times you're not paying attention where the dogs are at when a coyote comes in or something like that, and you gun blast them and yeah I shoot suppressed I know a lot of you guys shoot suppressed but if uh, if you gun blast them even with suppressed of any kind um, they'll become gun shy it's one of the quickest ways to ruin a dog in my opinion this is pretty heavy brush country right here that I'm in on this stand um, I'm about to head into some of the more open clear uh, country but on this stand, since it was so heavy brushed, like I said, it, Rip was only maybe 10 feet is where I had that tether set up to where he could only get about 3 feet away from me. But the reason I like paracord, I use a 20 foot paracord uh, lead on him because like right now he's running around and that paracord slides super easy in the brush. Um, I mean it just, I don't know if you can see it, but as he's pulling it he's just it's just sliding through the brush uh, so it doesn't get hung up I don't put any knots I don't, or um, or like carabiners or anything like that on it because I don't want it ever getting hung up on the brush while we're walking into a stand or out of a stand or anything like that uh, because I don't want snagging and jerking on him I just want sliding uh, the biggest problem I have honestly is if he's walking in front of me that paracord's right in front of me and sometimes I accidentally step on it so you gotta watch for that but um, but otherwise um, the, the other reason it's good to have that paracord on there is because if you do knock a coyote down and like right now Tink isn't a dog that'll go out and kill the coyote uh, if it's wounded she'll go out and, and locate it and bark and contain it and if it starts running off she'll contain it but she won't kill it um, so if you walk up on a wounded coyote you know so a lot of you guys especially starting your, your first dog you're gonna walk up on a lot of wounded coyotes you do not want that pup to get bit and so you can keep some uh, you know uh, grab that lead and keep them close to you as you're walking up um, to prevent that from happening because if it's not the gun blast that ruins a dog, it is definitely uh, getting bit by a coyote too young, especially a big, big male coyote or something like that. Uh, if they grab the dog and and uh, 
anyway that's that's another good way to ruin a good good started pup but like I said now he's just out loose and free and he and Tink are running around and checking things out and um, and uh, we're gonna head back to the pickup and uh, the other reason that I like so I free ride right now I'm free riding my dogs in the back of the pickup I always have I've actually bought a dog box that I'm going to modify uh, to, for for my pickup so that I don't have a uh, I don't have to free ride them um, but uh, but you know it's very easy to just uh, tie a quick loop in that paracord give them about two feet so they can't bail over the edge but anyway that's kind of how I set up on a stand keep the pup behind you keep him so he cannot get in your lap because uh, you know if, if coyotes coming in or something's going on or whatever you do not want that pup in your lap and interfering in any way let him make noise who cares right if he's yelping I'm really surprised uh, Rip hasn't you know been whining and, and whatnot um, this is our second stand but um, he hasn't been whining or anything which I'm a little bit surprised about but I'm happy about but at the same time if they're whining and barking and yelping and whimpering who cares that's that's part of the decoy you're putting those sounds on the call so who cares if if your dog's actually doing it too who cares don't worry about that don't tell them to shut up don't tell them that don't worry about them don't don't worry about their feelings right dogs don't need safe spaces we're out here hunting let them make their noises um, but uh, but I I'll typically do this with a pup until they're uh, maybe six months old um, I don't have him on a toner yet on a tractor trainer collar um, I'll get him used to a tractor trainer before we bring him before he's about six months old so that he he gets the recall down um, so that that I can kind of contain him then because you again you still don't want him bit and a lot of times even when they're like six eight months old I'll still run that paracord on them I won't, just won't I won't tether them but if uh, we knock a coyote down then I can still hold on to him and, and make sure he doesn't get bit um, now some dogs I've ha I had one dog actually Coda my best dog when she got bit it pissed her off when um, it didn't matter but I've had other dogs that they get bit and it just sets them back um, they've always come out of it but uh, at least the ones that I've had have always come out of getting bit but it sets them back months so that's so one other thing I just thought of when you tie your dog up if you decide to do it this way see he's sitting right there on this third stand we just had a coyote come in <coughs> and he was able to see the whole action so you want uh, to make sure that they're tied up to where they can see what's going on and and we ripped three shots at that coyote didn't phase him at all because he was locked on to watching the action Tink was out there dinking around and as a young coyote I took a shot uh, right as it started to turn away um, I, it wasn't in a dog at all but first shot was right as it started to turn away and so I missed it and then uh, trying to shoot on the run is always fun uh, but Rip never never did anything as you can see he's still watching Tink Tink's still trying to figure out why I didn't kill that coyote but anyway so make sure you tie that your your pup up to where you can where they can see what's going on uh, and again this the stand ended up being quite a bit in well, it's probably in two and a half, three foot tall sagebrush, um, but uh, but I tried to strategically tie him up to where he could see most of any action that was going to go on. Uh, so anyway, just something else to keep in mind. Anyway, that's just a little bit what I do. I hope uh, everybody has success. I'm not saying by any means this is the best way or the only way or the whatever. This is how I do it. Um, it's worked for me. I've I've had uh, what four, four or five um, decoy dogs now. Uh, it's it's always worked for me. But again, I'm not saying that this is the best way or the only way. I'm just saying this is my way. So anyway, good luck to you. Uh, hope uh, this video helped somebody out and uh, go kill some coyotes.